Uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency has brought this appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport because um, we believe in fairness and uh, we're, we're doing this for uh, the fairness in this case and, and for athletes and, and clean sport around the world. The content, what's that at issue in it? Is it about how an athlete can be accidentally... The, the athlete, uh, Camila Valieva, was a figure skater competing at the uh, 2022 Olympic Games in Beijing. Um, for the, she was competing for the Russian Olympic Committee team at, at the Games and uh, during the Games it came to light that she had submitted to a, a positive test uh, previously and uh, so that, that kicked off the, the process as we see it today. For this case, uh, WADA would not have objected to that uh, and in fact WADA would not have... We believe that the uh, original decision by the disciplinary tribunal of the, the Russian anti-doping agency finding no fault or negligence in this case was wrong. It was wrong under the terms of the World Anti-Doping Code. Uh, and so we're now seeking um, that that be overturned and that uh, a four-year suspension be imposed on the athlete and that her results be disqualified from, from the point of the sample collection in December 2021. Uh, onwards and that would include her results during the 2022 Beijing Olympic Games. Not entitled to request a public hearing for this. That request can I would understand the, the, the frustration that, that uh, parties are, are feeling uh, in relation to this. It has gone on uh, and I think that it's, it's clear that the World Anti-Doping Agency has been pushing all the authorities uh, to proceed with this as expeditiously as possible throughout the process.